All right, the Beyblade. The Beyblade. This video is sponsored by Keeps. How are you going? So a couple of months ago, I realized I had too many legs. Oh. <laughs> what the? And to fix this, what I a made problem! This, a giant Beyblade oh. out of a three-foot-wide circular saw blade, which was I meant see. to be powered by this lawnmower and be powerful enough to rip apart a whole house. But this didn't happen, wow. and the only thing I smashed were the expensive drug-growing light bulbs of a Chinese triad. What? But you guys have obviously done this before and had some pretty good suggestions on how I could make the Beyblade more powerful. Next time, put rubber on the bottom, and it should move around more. You could fit a go-kart centrifugal clutch to the engine and weld the spool to it so that the- So that it engages at a higher RPM! Oh my god. Powerful. So today, I'm gonna listen to you and finally lose that leg. First thing I need to do is clean the Beyblade. As who would have known that if you leave your giant yeah, Beyblade one degree. outside in the rain, that it gets rusty. No. One degree removed from a doofin, doofin smurts adventure true. Ankle destroyer. Me. Yeah, that's good. You can stop spraying it with a hose now. Cool. And I'm Finally, some useful YouTube comments. It, but I need to remove at least some of the rust in order to weld. So I just used a grinder and my shirt and rubbed it a bunch of times until a decent amount of rust came off. I see. <laughs> now it's shiny. It should now be clean enough to weld on. So this is where your first suggestion comes in. And that's <laughs> to add massive thick blades similar to real Beyblades that stick out a couple of inches from the side. As previously, when it made contact with an object, the blade gently soared through it, just like a sawmill blade is meant to do, which I, I don't see. want. I want it to smash things, sending them flying towards me. And to oh. achieve this, I picked up these three pound pieces of scrap metal, which I'll attach on top. And I need them to be even in weight. So I just weighed the metal bars. And this one is one gram more. So when I cut them, I just need to remember to cut slightly more off this one. I... I mean, this one. Uh-oh. <laughs> one of them! One of these. And now that they look a little more appropriate for a Beyblade, I need to figure out the right place to put them so that the blade is evenly weighted. So I, I just see, drew some I lines see. and randomly move the bars around on top until the blade manages to stand up on its own. And I don't know oh. if this means it'll be evenly weighted when it spins, but at least it looks good in this position. It looks cool though, that's then what I just matters. Up the welder and put down some tacks, then welded the bars lightly in place. Now they should be stuck on enough to not fly off. So let's give it a kind of slow test to see what happens. Oh boy. Oh boy. That is pretty good. And it wobbles. Pretty good. I don't really care as long as it stays upright enough. As I'm sure that these bigger blades oh, are definitely going to get more Why is he going to put his toes so close? So I just welded on the blades permanently. And a lot of you are always giving me crap for my weld. But take a look at this, Brian. That's not actually bad. <laughs> and if you don't think so, I will 1v1 you in a weld off. All right? Oh no. All I need to do now is make sure it's able to deliver. Yeah, this what are you going to do now, Brian? Which is where the second suggestion comes in, which is to give it a rubber tip so that the Beyblade is more grippy, meaning it will walk around the room. Yeah, As last Brian. time, it just spun around in one spot and was super depressing. And I do have 100 rubbers I could put on the tip, <laughs> but I reckon a better option is this industrial rubber dip glue. Now, you may have noticed that when I was cleaning the rust off, I decided not to clean the tip. And that's not because I'm lazy. It's because I reckon the extra friction will help the rubber dip glue stick to the metal. I see. And this rubber dip gluey stuff is super underrated. It's extremely useful, fun, and easy to apply. Fork isn't grippy enough? Dip it in rubber glue. Allen <laughs> key isn't grippy enough? Man, rubber you can glue. use this stuff on anything! Actually, maybe it's me that isn't grippy enough.
All right. Um, is this why my parents told me not to eat glue, true chat? Rubber glue is you might stuck ascend. on the tip hard, which should make the Beyblade grip the ground more. So I just gave it a couple of coats of paint in grey and yellow and a big kiss. And now it looks perfect, which brings me to Lovely. your last actually helpful suggestion, which was to use a device that you has always a clutch remember to, to kiss your ba Beyblades bay blade. as well as your bros. Kiss the bros, but also kiss the Beyblades before spinning. And the other is used to cut trees. So my family's just going to have to find a new way to wash clothes as I'm going to borrow the chainsaw for a couple of days. My plan is pretty simple. I'm just going to take apart the chainsaw. My sock! Then all I need My to do is sock. attach the pipe <laughs> to this clutch with some walls on the side and then attach the rope to the pipe so that when I turn the chainsaw on, it winds the rope up. Now he'll be able to cover one of his feet, maybe. Clutch, I'll be able to start winding it slowly without ripping the rope like last time. People just ripped. <laughs> Far out. Okay, now the first thing I got to do is weld this pipe oh. to the second clutch that I bought. Imagine if the motor wasn't there and all they had left was the sock. I thought I was going to be able to do it with this stick welder, but I welded right through the pipe. No! Which doesn't matter that much in this spot, but I can't afford to do that up on the thinner sections of the metal. So instead of having to learn and actually improve my stick welding skills, I just bought this midge welder. I mean, dwarf welder, sorry, which is super easy to use. And after practicing him. on some scrap metal and creating this weird looking dog, it's time to what? do it on the real thing. Wow. And to make the side plates, I'm using this thick sheet metal that I found, which I'm going to cut some circles out of using this circular hole saw. And to do that, first I need to rearrange the belts on my drill press so that it's turning at the slowest speed it can, which got is suitable you. for cutting metal. Makes sense. Got it, got it, got it. But after cutting out the circles with this hole saw, I think this metal is a little too thick and heavy, which might actually cause the pipe to bend and fly off into my head at high speed. Oh! So I just cut the piece of metal straight down the middle to create two thin pieces. Then I just cut another hole so that I can put the pipe in the middle of the metal. And now to weld it. And if I stuff up this weld, I'll have to order a new clutch, which takes a couple of weeks to arrive, meaning this video is going to be super delayed. But I guess you already know it's if worse. that's happened or not. So I just said some prayers. It's worse. Wow. And begin. since the plates have kind of deformed and, and warped so much from the heat. Far out. <laughs> Far but out, brother. it's nothing brother. suppliers can't fix. And, you, you know, I definitely wouldn't hire me as a welder either, but this should still work, which at the end of the day is all that matters. Okay, now I just need to make a guide for the rope so that it the only The fact that this man has pipe, all of his fingers still is me. impressive. So to do that, the first thing I need to do is take Doing off all the this metal work, barehanded, barefooted, and he's not missing any fingers or toes. <sighs> and then I can put it back together. So I this feel guide like that just is uses merit. two bolts with some aluminium pipe on them, which should spin, allowing the rope to easily pass through. And even if the pipe doesn't spin, the aluminium is pretty slippery and hopefully won't cut the rope. So now there's nothing left to do but shove in this little snap ring, which is the only thing securing this heavy pipe to the chainsaw. Oh, and okay. Then oil it up, and now let's give it a test. I'm sure that'll and see work if just the fine. Chainsaw survives and stays together. <laughs> Oh man, this guy's a bad man. Yeah, the fact that this man has not had any crazy injuries truly really is something. Oh my god, it's working! Whoa. It's alive! What the heck? It rotated the clutch breakout. Why oh. the heck did I put that on? It's hilarious.
and it was vibrating so much that it popped the clutch brake clean off. So Ooh. I'm gonna try again with no brakes. There were brakes? What just fell off? Uh oh. Yeah, I'm glad he's asking the same time, question I am. It seemed to rotate all right, so I kept that missing part off and decided to test it outside. All right, let's see how well it pulls a two liter milk bottle across my yard. Oh boy. Safety brakes are so passe. <laughs> True. <laughs> And I didn't realize how terrifying it would be having a milk bottle flying towards me across my yard. Yeah, the missing but part must not have been important. Works, it's fine. Which is great. And we I just now keep going. also have a quick and easy way of getting milk out of the fridge. Motorized fishing line. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so now I'm just going to combine all of these new elements and head back to the dealer's house to hopefully smash some stuff. Ah, uh, home sweet home, huh? <laughs> Ah, oh, feels good to be back. I just forget how much stuff we've moved here. Like this mattress, was that there? Oh, we moved it there so we could jump on it. Did we put that metal oh. thing hanging down? No. Where oh, did all this stuff claw, come from? Oh, I don't remember having these claw. things. I can't remember whether I'm meant to feel what emotion I'm meant to feel. We're meant to be scared going into a Chinese drug dealer's house. Yeah, I don't know. I just, I feel like I missed it. I feel oh. like I've spent so much time here and really gotten gotten to know the place. We cleaned it up a bit. This, you could barely walk through it. No, we did a good job here, didn't we? Oh. So did they get this house at a discount oh, man, because of the fact that they were that drug course. dealing? No, absolutely no way. Is that why? That's my guess, right? It's like the, the property was like cheap because of it. Can you imagine though, if you went on a holiday, you went away from your house and you came back and someone had just installed a claw? I think on holiday is a euphemism for someone going to jail for, <laughs> for producing drugs, but sure. Ah, yeah, yes, he is on holiday, is scared. what they call it. If I had the money, I'd pack They just move. broke in. I Guys, I feel like the door. No, <laughs> not the door. The know, wall last time was I made open. Bait, I came to this house as I knew it was abandoned, and I knew I could wreck it. But what I oh, didn't know it's that abandoned. It was previously okay. used by a Chinese triad to grow weed. And luckily, the dealers had not come back and touched our claw that we made. Oh, it's cool that it's not actually this that's shaky. It's the original, like, plank on the, on the, the roof. The, I think that, that cool? is so is cool funny the that they just, there is, a, there is a chance, okay, that is higher than zero, that these people come back and are like, what huh? in the, is this? They come back to this and they're like, there's a new mattress. There's a claw coming out of the ceiling. What? <laughs> oh, no, not the thing I built. Like. You did a good job making this. It's very sturdy. Okay. <laughs> oh, man. That would actually suck. I mean, if the whole roof fell down, I can just move this to a different one. <laughs> Make that part of the roof fall down. It's dusty. No. Here, right? Yeah, it's got dust in my face. Maybe you're high, man. That's funny. Maybe you're high. Oh, man. Yeah, the old marijuana sneezes. <laughs> oh, here it comes, boys. <laughs> oh, my <laughs> lord. <laughs> I'm so high right now. <laughs> it looks like you left your baby like parked in a legal spot and they, they <laughs> counted it. <laughs> no Beyblade parking here. Oh, I'm gonna call the council to get it off. You yeah, can't yeah, park your Beyblade here no without a permit. <laughs> So we just tied up our previous mess and constructed a normal living arrangement, including, of course, a cow leg bone chair. So I got this bone for a human leg comparison to see what would actually happen if it's smashed into your leg. See, cows are very leg. useful. Kind of half a bone in their leg. Well, it's we still, just take still, cow still legs still work, and make you know? chairs yeah. out of it. It'll hold you up bone. just fine. I'm gonna take the bone to the chair. <laughs> oh, okay, so in that way, together with the wood. Why does this guy have a cow leg bone, bone in his bone pocket bone. handy? What the heck? We're only on this guy. We just watched oh, another sorry, video where he just had a cow leg bone leaves. hanging out. <laughs> and a bone strapped to a leg. It looks like a torture scene. It looks like there was a man here with a full body connected <laughs> to the leg. I admire his resourcefulness. <laughs> he chopped off everything besides his half body. He cut his whole body off. Um, you uh, never know when you might need a cow leg bone, true. <laughs> okay, Tommy the rat, the rat King. But I'm just hoping that he uh, he's not missing a leg in real life because that would be the most... Way to say thank you. Oh, no. <laughs> then we checked the chainsaw was working. Sounds good. It sounds like nothing. It sounds like a chainsaw. I think that's because you're deaf. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and just wound the rope onto it and the Beyblade. 
and it was time for the first test. All right, so let's quickly tell you what we're going to do. Yeah. No boy. So we know we're What's the plan? Um, I'll stand here with the chainsaw. Yeah. The door. As soon as it gets kind of started and starts Got spinning it. fast, I'm going to stand behind this frame. Yeah. And then as soon as the rope fully comes off the bay line and goes onto the chainsaw, I'll say pull. Can I pull, pull this? The thing, releasing the clamp, and then I, you and me, I think we should probably get out get out quite a bit <laughs> just in case it like turns on its side flies through this door comes and comes around okay so we are running away we should uh, then we okay. should maybe We're run away you know <laughs> oh. so we don't you know get severely oh, injured oh, maybe Ma it's maybe it. it's, it's just a it. suggestion <laughs> okay you ready you recording yeah oh boy oh. the table oh boy all right uh oh uh oh oh, 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 oh no run away run 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 oh jesus Ooh. it's spinning It's loose! It came loose! Wait, what? Okay, it's, it's beautiful! It's like so... <laughs> like, Look at it go! I haven't stopped yet! It's still going! How can you hear it spinning? You got that stuff on your ears. You can hear it spinning. Should we go look? Oh. Yeah, it's just on the floor, not moving. Not moving? It's a death copter! Oh, Oh, it's I'm not so moving, he says. Perfectly balanced thing. Yeah. I'm gonna throw something into it, yeah? What? <laughs> Why it's does he have to throw test, something though. at it? We gotta get it to that was going. He's that like, oh, that's so, so well. cool. That's not cool enough, so though. Fast. We gotta up the <laughs> stakes. I gotta throw <laughs> something into it. So it definitely works a lot better than before. And as yeah, you can tell look from at my it go. Screens, it was also a little more terrifying than before. <laughs> Almost sounding like a helicopter attempting to take off inside the house. Maybe it but will. The rubber tip didn't seem to make a difference, and the Beyblade still just spins in one spot. <laughs> mm. So it was the I same as before. Even with all of his so chat's tips applied, <laughs> it's just spinning oh, yeah, there menacingly. It's been circumcised. So we oh. introduced a little slope to help it out. Thanks, uh, Tommy, number one subscriber who donated their leg yeah. for this experiment. <laughs> so if you guys ever lose a limb, consider donating it to I Did A Thing. I don't ask what? much from you guys, so it's the least you can do, I reckon. Just one leg. Just one leg. You've got another one. I have never said... <laughs> Thanks, chat, for the leg button. donation. No, Appreciate no, that. Not and once. Now you're calling in that favor and saying, smash I'm that leg. <laughs> Easy does it. Easy does Don't just it. smash that leg along with that like button, you know? You're really trying to sneak up to a Beyblade. Okay. You ready? Yep. Fuck. Ooh! You messed up that cantaloupe, man. Okay. Oh, we just make a bigger ramp. And it managed to hit this lousy melon, but I want more. And we do know which way it seems to run now. So the greed the is same real. Setup, but this time, placing Tommy's leg right in the Beyblade's path. Uh, all right, you ready? You bet I am, boy. Time to Beyblade this leg. Has oh, been defeated. 
<laughs> it's still going! It's just missing. It looks like a prank seat. Oh. There's a bit of the bone. Whoa! Yeah, I got yes. blasted. Whoa. We got something. Something happened. Something happened! Cool. Destruction! Yeah. I'm, um, I'm sorry, Tommy, but I don't, I don't think you made it. Aww. Where's the other part of him? Oh, there it is. Where? Behind you. Rest on the wall. in pieces, oh. Tommy's leg. Yeah, I'm, I'm watching that on Eviscerated now, by so. the Beyblade. Yeah, that's gonna be sick. And that was the result I wanted to see. The Beyblade Beautiful. easily smashed through the bone and chair leg, sending them flying across the room. Everything about this is absolutely terrifying, especially the speed and the helicopter noise. Yeah, that it really is it something. Hits it, boom. <laughs> I mean, this is, this is very confusing. It's just a normal chair. Absolutely. <laughs> Bro, whoever made that chair, what? they yeah, need a raise. Like, what kind of chairs are these? I was going to say, dang, dang where'd you get that chair? <laughs> right, let's smash some more stuff like a TV. Best chair in history in like Please. a Come on, TV. deserted on. house. The heck? The heck? Ooh. Are those pop kids? <laughs> yeah! Oh, Jesus. Wow, it actually yes. stopped it. The TV actually stopped it. That's the noise. Yes. So much destruction. <laughs> and the baby Yeah, fine. the TV won, actually. Ooh. What's in there? The like fragment of the chair pierced the... Oh my god, that's so scary because I was looking, I was considering looking around the corner. Imagine just having oh, this. Get stuck in you. Oh man. And the glass is still intact. The shards what, went flying and it, it broke pieces of the TV. floor. <laughs> yeah, we don't even try to smash it. Now I don't really know what I was expecting or what I wanted to happen, but I I suppose I I got it. He did smash some stuff, and it's definitely She's like, safe to say. like I don't even know what the goal was, was but I think I achieved it. The Beyblade even so, it. but for some <laughs> oh, reason I, I still feel so unfulfilled. Oh no, he's gonna eat the, the leak seal again now. Do you want to look like me? Sorry? Do you want to look like me? No, I, I don't. S sorry. Um, no. Well, I got news for you. This video is sponsored by Keeps, and they help you to prevent your hair from falling out to, to not look at all like me. You know <laughs> two out of three guys will experience male pattern bias by the time they're 35? I'm only 19. Oh my god, this guy. Yeah, well. And you don't want to look at all Boldly like me, showing his baldness to, to the world. Well, you still have hair left, and it keeps you retreated from inside your own home. Sorry, sorry, can you? Oh. We deliver it to you every three months, so no uh, more awkward doctor visits or pharmacy visits. And best of all, oh keeps my offers God. you cheap versions of the only two Do you want to look like me, he said? Product out there. Prevention is key, so if you're ready to take action and keep your beautiful, beautiful hair. Sorry, sorry. Oh my god! Go to keeps.com slash ida. The self roast this guy is giving yep, himself. Just follow a link below to keeps. That's it's very bold. dot com slash ida. You get fifty percent off your first order. Okay, thank you. Man, you know, really head, just said, do you want to look like me? No. So much for well, you should uh, you get like the product in this ad so you don't have to. Oh my stuff. god! It's very bold. I mean, bold of him. I mean, bold. <laughs> That was great. That was fantastic. World's largest Beyblade acquired.